The template editor form has undergone some visual improvements. Users can now access a couple of tools found on a new file menu where you can quickly create new templates and copy new templates. There's also some additional right click functionality that's been added in so users can now right click over a particular section. You can now create sections and curbs which are added to the end of your template or you can edit section and edit curb directly by right clicking within the area where you want to make the edits. You can see we've got some additional entries to allow um, overriding of the batters and also some template options where we can copy left to right or delete left to right. The form has also undergone a small structural change where you can now make the form larger or smaller depending on the size of your template. Similarly to the template editor, the addition of a couple of menu options are found now at the top of the design data form, namely a file option where you can import and export your data. These are the same options which are found down the bottom right hand corner of the form. We've also added in some additional features such as opening up a variety of different tools directly from the menu at the top. Whilst there has been some interface updates, the critical ones are that the variations are now coloured, meaning that editing variations are coloured in blue any additional or insert variations are colored in green and any deletion variations are colored in orange. Reviewing triangulation edits that you've made to the mesh on civil site design surfaces has been improved. Every edit that you now make to that surface can be zoomed to by selecting the entry that you've made, meaning that you can actually see the edit. You can also batch remove entries by left clicking and then holding down shift to remove a bank of entries that you've maybe made and maybe want to remove by clicking on delete selected. And that will remove those straight from the surface manager editing dialog. When you open up Model Builder, all of your models will now be listed in this form and available for editing. For any edits made to existing models, you can either double click on the form itself or you can click the pencil icon to retrieve a number of different menu options. The editing interface has also been improved. Many of the commands which were found in here, such as save as or delete, are now on the previous menu and can be found through the little pencil icon or a right click. Boundary retraction has been added and in combination with the maximum triangle length, this will remove triangles of a specific length from the outside of your design working inwards. And to show you how this looks, we can click rebuild models and that will very quickly remove triangles from the outside inwards, meaning that you're not going to be removing triangles potentially within the inside of your design. To create new models, users can now click on the Create New Model button. Users can now create a model which is linked to Total Model in exactly the same way as the previous form and choose to apply boundary retraction at the very start if they want to.